a new change of scenery can do do wonders. I'm very grateful for my time at uh, Golden State, but um, I just felt like you know moving on could just re-energize me and uh, do something special for the rest of my career. And Dallas was so attractive because of the young players they have, the style of play, the uh, you know world class treatment these players get from this organization and just a beautiful city who loves their hoops. Um, so when I was watching the playoffs and I'm watching the Mavs, you know, make a run for the championship, uh, I just saw myself fitting in really well with this team and the personnel and um, they look like they have fun playing with each other and they play for each other and that was very attractive for me and um, that's really all I needed to see and there's mutual interest there and that's why I'm here probably a little disappointed at first but then as time goes on you have a lot of time to reflect and you realize what you did uh, they can't take that away from you as far as the championships or I mean records are meant to be broken but the impact you have on a community and all that uh, that will forever live and sometimes you know breakups are necessary to uh, do what's right and I'm not the first athlete in the NBA to go through this I did grow up in Portland and I remember uh, when Scottie Pippen came to the Blazers, that was like the biggest day of my life. And I'm not saying I'm Scottie, but uh, they, were, <laughs> they were right there against the Lakers, almost won a chip. So I take a lot of inspiration from past athletes and how their careers might have gone you know, astray when they either left the team or joined a new team. And some guys thrive. And I, I, I look forward to just kind of being rejuvenated here and playing a lot, a lot of good ba basketball left in the tank. Kyrie and I are good friends. I mean, we came in the lead together in 2011. We played on Team USA together twice. Obviously, we played against each other in the highest stages for many years, and I've always been a fan of Kai's game, and guarding him was hell, so it's nice to be on the other end of that for once and see other defenders get loose and get shook by him. That's going to be a good sight to see. And then uh, part two, at this point in my career, I mean, still can't leave me open and uh, I can guard and I'm just excited. I still think I can do what I've been able to do and it's just about being in the best shape I can possibly be but I know I can um, help this team uh, whether it's the knowledge I've gained or um, big big scoring nights. I just uh, still know I can be a very very good player in this league. Like Steph said this week that the thing he wanted for you more than anything was to see the joy back in your game. Had you lost some of the joy in the game? Um, there was times last year it was really tough. I mean, you know, everyone expects you to be an all NBA player and you know, sometimes it's hard to consistently do that that's why there's only 15 slots on that that team and uh coming here is just such a fresh start and feeling just wanted again and like i bring great value uh it just gets me excited to go out there and even work out after this press conference and get shots up and uh so yeah there was times last year was tough where it wasn't as joyful as it had been in the past and um, it's nice to kind of shed that and have a whole new fresh start, whole new group of guys to get to know and um, co-workers, so a whole new city. It's uh, it's really cool, and I'm going to embrace the heck out of this opportunity. For real, but I'm embracing it. Um, the organization showed me so much love, and the fans, whether it's on the Internet or in the street, are very grateful, and everyone I've met, there's just a great buzz around the city. Uh, especially coming off a championship appearance, everyone wants to get over that hump, and that's what was so attractive to me is to um, be someone who can help them win and help uh, these young guys grow. And being on the back end of my career or in my 30s, it's so special to have this opportunity. Not many guys who play 13 years get a chance to win a championship or championships to end their career. And I think we're set up for a great run and uh, expectations are high, but you got to welcome that. I mean, that's what you want as an athlete. You want to have that pressure and you want to have expectations from the fan base, the city that, you know, we want a winner. And that's what tracked me too. I'm not really into breaking more shooting records. I just want to win at this point. That's, that's, what, that's what I learned in Golden State. Like everyone's got to make sacrifices to win at the highest level. And 
uh, I'm, I'll make sacrifices for the team, but as long as we play winning basketball, that's, that's all that matters. At this point in my career, I mean, still can't leave me open, and uh, I can guard, and I'm just excited. I still think I can do what I've been able to do, and it's just about being in the best shape I can possibly be, but I know I can um, help this team, uh, whether it's the knowledge I've gained or um, big, big scoring nights. I just uh, still know I can be a very, very good player in this league. Yeah, my dad was disappointed. I don't really have to talk to him much about it, but I'm, at the end of the day, he was happy for me. Uh, I mean, he was a little selfish in his business interests because he wanted me to be at home with the family. I was like, Dad, I've been in California my whole life. I got to experience something new. So uh, he understood, and he's actually really excited for me, and he thinks we have a great shot to do something special here, not just this year, but for many years. So he was all on board once the dust settled, and he realized that uh, it was really a match made in heaven. Man, I'm so excited to be here. I got my new threads. Number 31, just like the Jet, you got a chip in this same number. That's what I plan to do. And it starts today. I'm getting to work, about to get some shots up. Let's go. We got greatness on the horizon. Let's